for everybody in my era, that was in the 30s, when you graduated from college, well, you, the women weren't supposed to do anything. There wasn't anything open for us. You could be a teacher or a nurse or a secretary, or you could be a salesperson at Lord & Taylor's or Sachs or something like that. But I was going to be a great woman novelist, so I tried to get a job in the New Yorker and Newsweek, and I finally ended up doing public relations at W.J. Sloan's furniture company. But well, that was fun anyway. I liked that was better than being a sales girl. Well, how do you get from public relations then to Wild Bill Donovan and the OSS? Well, because then World War II came along. And in your generation, you don't realize that in mine, we were saving the world so that everybody that I knew was in the Army or the Navy or down in Washington. So that's where I went, and I got into the OSS. But having no languages and no skills, I ended up in the files, and I stayed in the files all during the war. But at least I knew what was going on. So you actually reported to Don did you report to Donovan? I was in his I was in his private office for a while. All was the files. And then I got an opportunity to be to go to what we call the fist squeezing unit, <laughs> which was air sea rescue equipment. And then from there, I heard that they were planning to send people overseas. I knew that sometime I'd get over to France. Up to then, I'd only been in Tijuana. 